Uh, my name is Tom and I'm a certified flight instructor here at Take Flight Aviation. Prior to uh, being a flight instructor here, um, I worked in a different industry um, and it was a career change. I was part of the professional pilot program here at Take Flight. Part of that is getting your CFI rating and uh, becoming a flight instructor. So for the last nine months I've been uh, working as a flight instructor, uh, mostly working with uh, Part 61 and Part 141 um, PPL. Uh, clients and some 61 commercial clients from there. Um, recently for the last roughly month or so I've been working on my double I rating for my flight instructor rating working with our good pal Nick Tricano getting ready for that. Building hours for the last nine months working as a flight instructor here mostly handling part 61 part 141 PPL clients and then part 61 commercial clients uh, here at Take Flight. But most recently in the last month or so I've been working on my CF double I rating from there trying to build the necessary skills and hours to be instructing from the right seat for instrument. Uh, currently I have a commercial single engine land and a commercial multi-engine land with instrument rating as well as in my CFI. I'm currently at uh, just under 1200 hours. I have roughly about 800 hours dual given. I have uh, about 1200 hours of of total flight time and about 800 hours of dual given and I hold ratings in the uh, commercial single engine land, commercial multi-engine land with instrument rating, as well as my certified flight instructor rating. I have a total of about 1,200 hours, and I have about 800 hours of dual given, which I've uh, acquired over the last nine months. I wanted to get my double I because when I, when I got my uh, flight instructor rating, I thought before that I had my commercial uh, you know, piloting skills were, were strong, and I, I realized pretty quickly after about 100 or 200 hours of dual given um, teaching private students mostly, that I was able to hone my skills, uh, you know, simple stick and rudder skills, overall landing skills, that kind of VFR procedural. And I think working with students at, at an instructional level during instrument training uh, will just continue to heighten my, uh, my instrument flying skills as well. Differences between getting my CFI initial, which I did that, uh, that program here through the accelerated program, uh, we have, have here at Take Flight uh, between my double I. I came into it with a lot of understanding um, and knowledge about instructing. So the you know the big differences came from kind of understanding the minutia of how we interact with our students so much, and I, how I could apply that um, into the um, instrument instructing. A lot of the students that I've been working with recently have been getting close to finishing their uh, private license and or have finished and are, are eagerly awaiting. Uh, me to finish my double I rating. But I've been averaging roughly about 80 to 100 hours a month of dual given, um, and I think I will, those numbers will increase. I've done all my instrument training, my double I training in the DA 40NG from Diamond. Um, I think it's a fantastic aircraft for it with advanced avionics. Uh, package from there, uh, a really solid GF uh, C700 autopilot um, from there. It's been a fantastic aircraft to, to work with. Um, really advanced systems overall, um, not just in the avionics package. And it's setting me up for success for moving into advanced aircraft um, You know, when I do ultimately move on in my career to, uh, to the airlines or, or, or the corporate side. I think it's really set me up to put me ahead of a, a lot of students who maybe were, were training in uh, other less advanced aircraft overall. Yeah, and I've had a lot of friends um, uh, in this industry as well too that I've met over time, um, some that I've known before I was a flight instructor who have also changed careers from there. I think the big differences of what's happened here at, you know, what I've learned here at Take Flight and the work that I've done here, uh, specifically it's it's the uh, the speed at which I've, I've gained hours overall. I mean, 800 hours of dual given is no easy task um, in, in nine months uh, from there. But also we've been working with um, a lot of clients who are also on that same track as well too, who are also going into a professional um, setting from there. So I think being able to work with people who are on a similar track, who I can mentor uh, through there, has set me up for success uh, going into the, the rest of the aviation industry uh, from there. My name is Nick. I'm a certified flight instructor here at Take Flight Aviation. I like teaching instrument students in general because the future of the whole reason I started flight training was to be a professional pilot and the vast majority of pilot jobs are 100% IFR flying, so it really helps hone the skills that we learned in the IFR course here before we became flight instructors. I currently have over 1,600 hours, and uh, 
That includes about 1,100 hours of dual given, which I think I received over about 15 months total. I have signed off a total of 11 clients here at Take Flight. Well, obviously when we're teaching instrument students, they're learning this for the first time, so it's much more involved and there's a much higher learning curve. We have to be the only eyes outside of the plane during the duration of that training. So when we teach instrument instructors, they're already rated They've already been instructing here for quite a bit of time. So a lot of it initially is just shaking off the rust of what they haven't been doing for a while, which is instrument flying. Once they're proficient, it's getting them back to teaching, learning how to basically keep the students safe and keep themselves safe while teaching them how to fly the instruments. I wanted to get the CFII rating because I just thought it was the next natural progression. Again, as I mentioned before, most professional pilot jobs are almost 100% IFR flying. So it really helped me increase my IFR skills. And the training was pretty straightforward and pretty simple, really training to proficiency, getting ourselves back proficient flying instruments, and then learning what we learned in our CFI initial course, which is how to teach that now to students. I currently hold a commercial single engine land, multi-engine land with instrument rating and certified flight instructor instrument. I came here from zero training and went through the Take Flight professional pilot training course, which got me from nothing all the way through certified flight instructor, and now looking to add on, along with the instrument uh, instructor rating, the multi-engine instructor rating. It was great. I was able to get through the whole program in roughly 21 months all the way to instructor, and that wasn't even completely full-time. That was part-time, but it was really efficient, and I was able to get through the program pretty quickly. I was happy with the time frame. I spent roughly 15 years in a previous industry, and when I decided to make the change, I entered the professional pilot program here, and I was able to continue to still work on a part-time basis at night while I did most of my flight training here during the day. It was very flexible. I was able to come to the professional pilot program. I spent roughly 15 years in a previous industry and I came to take flight to join the professional pilot program, which allowed me to continue my flight training during the day. And I actually worked an evening job throughout the training. My plan when I finish flight instructing is to either get a job flying an airliner or do some sort of corporate aviation. I'm pretty flexible, but I would prefer some corporate flying.